Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Does your iPhone flash an urgent message iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it? This overheating issue is common, especially in this hot weather. In this video, I'll show you the simple steps you can take to fix it. Let's go. When you see the iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it message, your device is indicating that the temperature has reached a level where it could damage the internal components or impair functionality. iPhones are designed to work best within 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 Celsius to 35 Celsius. If they get too hot, they'll temporarily shut down most functions except for emergency calls as a safety measure until they cool off. This happens when you use your iPhone while it's charging and can generate heat. Another reason is that you expose your iPhone to high temperatures, especially direct sunlight, which can cause overheating. It may also be from the running apps on your device. Running graphic intensive apps or those that use augmented reality can increase CPU usage and generate heat. If your battery is corroding or malfunctioning, it may not get hot but trigger the temperature warning. To cool it down, turn off the iPhone. This will help reduce any ongoing strain on the battery and processor, which generates heat. Remove also the phone case. If your iPhone is in a case, take it out as cases can sometimes insulate heat, making it harder for the phone to cool down. Next is to move it to a cooler environment. Avoid direct sunlight and move your iPhone to a cooler, shaded location. Avoid placing it in a fridge or any other extremely cold environments, as rapid temperature changes can cause condensation and damage. Avoid charging until cool. Charging can generate additional heat, so wait until the phone has cooled down before plugging it in. Once the iPhone cools down, it should allow you to use it again normally. Keep your iOS updated to the latest version to fix known issues. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also, bear in mind that some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.